Uh, now, Jess, are you a fan of oysters? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, that's good. But they're super hard to open, right? Oh, Impossible. They're so difficult. Like someone else has to do it for me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and usually they are for most people, too. Except for someone I met recently who actually specializes in this art. At Forget-Me-Not in Cherry Creek, many people have been served oysters by Ben here, including recently Landy and Lord Stanley. There's a new idea. What many people do not know is that Ben is actually internationally ranked in this craft. I've won Colorado five times. Um, I've placed uh, seventh in the world twice. Now, for what exactly? Well, it's the sport of oyster shucking, or oyster opening. It's a thing. <laughs> It's a competition based on speed and precision, and it's pretty popular in Canada, China, Florida, and Maine, which is where Ben is originally from. Actually, he learned the trade when he was 10 from his grandpa. So my grandfather and I would sneak off and like just go crush oysters, and then we'd buy bags of them and just bring them home for uh, family reunions and just like literally gatherings, cocktail parties, just any excuse to have a bag of oysters on hand. And this is the Maine champion uh, oyster belt buckle. 15 years ago, he went pro and started winning all over the world. But I mean, look how fast he did that. Did you see that? And he loves sharing this passion with people here in Colorado. He even started a festival in Boulder in a state where we aren't always known for our non-Rocky Mountain oysters. Nobody really opens oysters properly or, or knows how to. And instead of pushing the knife into it, you're really thinking about lowering the knife onto it. But don't worry, the entire state is way better than me at it. Does that, does that count? No. Ah. Thankfully, he already has a student to pass down this family tradition to, his five-year-old son, Walker. Just not quite yet. He can't wait. Yeah, he wants to be a hockey player, of like a fire engine for some reason. Not even a firefighter, just a fire engine. And, uh, and an oyster opener. In Denver, Danny New, Denver 7. <laughs> it's very hard to do. It looks impossible. Yeah, because you're like pointing a knife towards your hand, essentially. That's why you stick with the pros. Like Ben. It's a very unique talent. <laughs> yes, and if you would like to see it in person, like Landy did, and Nazim Kadri was there too, uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays at Forget Me Not in Cherry Creek. You can check that out and enjoy. Yeah. Great place too.